Hello everybody! Quick, cue that elevator music! Oh, it's too late, you blew it. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. We're still playing Metroid Prime and uh, we're gonna be scrounging our way through it, a good chunk of it anyway, because um, I don't remember where all of the uh, artifacts are. I think there's one in here. I'm gonna go check. I haven't been that way yet. So that, that's mainly what we're trying to find here, without me looking up a walkthrough, because I'm being lazy as hell right now. I, um, we're just going to do some exploring the old-fashioned way while I do some, co co uh, do some ranting about E3. I was going to say, um, oh, we talk about the E3 conference, but, uh, wording came out wrong. Damn it. Ghosts. Are you going to call people who aren't alive anymore? Too soon. Too soon. Sorry. Uh, anyway. E3. Uh, last episode was talking about Heaven's Ward. I'm going to be playing with my friends. And I was going to talk about World of Warcraft and what happened with that. Um, long story short, Blizzard pulled Nintendo before Nintendo could pull Nintendo. A.K.A. they blew it. Like, that is, that is the best way to say it. Blizzard just blew it. They started off WAD really strong. What would have started out even stronger is the fact that if it was... Where the hell? If it was, um... If all the stuff they released after the expansion came out, like 6.1 and 6. Point, okay, so six, it launched with 6.01. I think, and like they gave us a whole bunch of features, but there was a lot of stuff that was like was promised to us as players that didn't come out until later, and the game would have been a lot better had those had those uh, promises been made earlier instead of later, and that's why a lot of people left. I think around two mil, three mil, something like that. I don't remember what the exact number was. It was a lot of people though. Like, it started off really strong, and it was really good. Well, Lords of Draenor was a great expansion at the beginning. It kind of petered out near the time when Blackrock was released, because that content was subpar. I mean, it was cool content, but it was subpar, let's be honest. And uh, it was lacking. Like, all it was was a new raid tier. It wasn't, like, anything... Like, it wasn't anything new. All the stuff that came out with that raid tier was stuff we should have had in the first patch, so we felt like we didn't get much. And then, uh, 6 point two is coming out soon. Or is out now. I can't remember. I, I stopped following the news. Anyway, uh, 6.2 came out, and, uh, are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's bringing a whole bunch of stuff back, like flying, but that's a whole nother bucket I don't even want to get into. Anyway, oh, I'm so distracted with this puzzle. Okay, here we go. 6.2 is bringing out a lot of stuff. And I skimmed over it, and I wasn't really impressed. The Time Walker dungeons, the class changes, like... Okay. Here's a great example that really ticked me off. I, uh... I believe that every class in World of Warcraft should have a fair damage output. Every subclass inside of it as well. What the hell is that? Probably not a good thing. And, uh, okay, yeah, sit back to classes. I need to get, I need to quit getting distracted by this damn game. It's just so interesting, though. I gotta focus on Metroid. 6.2 classes, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to, my brain, it's gone right now. This game is just too interesting. Like, look at the fucking background, shooting shit. I got some serious ADD right now. Wow, and it's real. 
Okay, Time Walker Dungeons. The, uh... Okay, let's just talk about the Time Walkers. Time Walker Dungeons are crap. The way they want to do them is crap. And it still is. Like, they even tried to fix it. It's like, well, if we made Time Walker Dungeons a thing, then what would be the point if there's no good reward for it? Okay, they have a valid point there. Let's talk with that. Let's start with that. Blizzard has a valid point. Why do Time Walker Dungeons if there's not going to be a valid point? Uh, about, like, in, like, getting gear or anything. Okay, so... Getting rid of Valor may not have been the best idea at all. Valor gave us something to do and farm, and if they gave us Time Walker Dungeons, we could just farm those for Valor. Granted, people hated the Valor farm, but what people hated worse was the Valor farm cap. Like, when you cap some, when you prevent a player from pr what he wants to do, then you fucked up. Then you fucked up. And Valor, Valor was a good excuse for that, and what Blizzard doesn't understand is the, the, is the, like, when you prevent players from, like, like, oh, I want a Valor cap this week, when you prevent them from doing that goal by capping or limiting what the player can do, then you've pissed off a fan base, and that's why people hated Valor. Like, it was just so grindy, and the grind wasn't even worth it, because you had to go back and grind it another time, in another zone, in another way, and it was just tedious. When all people wanted to do was grind it and be over with it, and not worry about it for another week. Like, I mean, that's that's a valid excuse. I mean, people just want to get shit done. <laughs> and not have to put it off and come back to it. And then, um, yeah, Time Walker Dungeons. If Valor was still around, we just removed the cap. There was good Valor gear to be rewarded. We could farm it out. And Time Walker Dungeons could be introduced perfectly. You could just bing, bing, boom. So, like, Time Walker Dungeons, get Valor here. <laughs> like, the gear could be crap because it wouldn't matter because people are after the Valor. Oh, crap. There's another door in that room. I didn't even notice. Shit. Okay, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Okay, so that's Time Walker Dungeons. Uh, the class changes. Right, I keep skimming over that. Okay, they practically said, uh, they were gonna nerf their shit out of Warlocks. Like, just straight up. It's like, yeah, it's Warlocks' turn to be bad again. And I was like, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 You can't just decide that. You made the game, and I understand that you have the power to do that, but that doesn't mean you should do that. Like, that's that's not okay. Like, you shouldn't fucking punish players for wanting to play a certain way. And, like... I mean, it's mainly Blizzard's fault in the first place for making Warlocks the way they did that way, and I think that's why they feel a little bit responsible. But, uh... Like, you can't just... You can't just be like, oh, Warlocks have good DPS, and then, like... Well, the way we... We didn't want you to play Demonology because that's stupid and convoluted and we still need to fix it. We wanted people to focus on other stuff like Affliction. Uh, okay, first of all... You done fucked up with Affliction in the first place. It's PvP only. Sorry to say. And, uh... Fucking... Demonology, you fucked up. As, and you revamped it. I mean, there's nothing else to say. You revamped it in Kata, and then you never touched it since. And people were happy with the way it, like, it was. I think people were more interested in Warlock tanking than the way it changed the class. I mean, if people want to play Demonology, just let them play Demonology. Shit. I mean, it's not going to kill them if they do. Warlocks just be warlocking, man. I don't know why a class should have to be punished just because Blizzard feels like they have to play God. Some, some people, man. Some people. Don't understand them. Don't understand the thought process. I would love to understand the thought process. Would love to try to wrap my hand around it. But I gotta tell you, the way Blizzard's acting right now, I don't think they're gonna make it another expansion. 
Like, they, I quit World of Warcraft mostly because I was bored of the stagnant gameplay. Like, the rating was boring. The, uh... Mm, sorry, I'm trying to think here. Uh, the rating was boring. The, uh... Dungeons got... Dungeons were fun, but they got... They got boring. Like, let's be honest. And then, uh... I didn't even PvP, because I think PvP is already off on World of Warcraft. But, um... Yeah. I don't think they'll make it another expansion, unless they, they really pull something out of their ass. Like, they need to stop half-assing, being lazy. They need to add classes to the game. They need to add lore to the game. They need to make the game fun. And, like, this is, this is all easy to do, I promise. Like, I've been saying, I've been ranting to my friends for years about how they can make World of Warcraft better, and then they finally said it in 6.2, like, uh, a Q&A about it. They were like, some classes, and I quote, I, I, I kind of quote, they say some classes just don't feel like you're actually playing them, like warriors and rogues more often. When you press an ability, it doesn't feel like you're doing anything. To that extent, I agree completely. The artistic values of this game have gone down completely, and the fantasy of the class is just totally out the window. Like, when I'm playing a warrior, I feel like I'm hitting people with a toothpick. Like, especially since I'm a goblin. First off, let's increase the weapon sizes to be a little bit more outrageous. That would make it awesome. <laughs> and let's, uh... Let's see, let's see even go both ways with the weapon sizes. Like, let's get extremely small weapons, extremely big, and that would kind of fix it. And then, uh, oh, Lanta, I'm ranting, ranting, ranting. We'll continue this rant next time on Game Fever. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Wow, I'm stuck. Ha! Huh.